Good afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with Chart Patterns Mastery, part of Simpler Trading's 427-2023 free video. What is today about? Today is about the short squeeze of all short squeezes. What am I talking about in there? That the bond market closed on the low. So GDP stronger than expected. So you think the stock market would close on their low or at least the interest rate censored like the NASDAQ stocks. Instead, the NASDAQ exploded. So a lot of that is because of Meta and Microsoft and all those earnings, but it's still really impressive. And it goes to show you that instead of overanalyzing, my first priority every day is the chart patterns. If you look on the right, I think you see a mile away that trend line break. And then it was off to the races. So no matter what you think about the bond market or what you think about GDP or it's already been factored in good earnings, just keep in mind that trend lines are trend lines. The more times you can connect the tops, the more, uh, the more important. So bottoms, tops, trend lines. That's what I look for. And as you see, the markets exploded. Now, a lot of that is because everybody factored in that app, Amazon was going to explode like Meta and a number of other stocks like Microsoft. The thing is, the ones that went up were these AI stocks, like theme stocks. Amazon is into the cloud, but it's doing great tonight so far. What's odd is this. Here's the NASDAQ tonight. And you see that that's when Amazon came out with earnings. So Amazon's still way up, and this sold off 70 points. In fact, a lot of the stocks within it, like Google, sold off a point. I have no idea why, but they sold off a point. So the whole point is I go on price action, and they just, I think, anticipated good earnings, and now there's nobody else to buy, theoretically, when the bonds are down. Now, I'm talking about the NASDAQ. On the other hand, if the NASDAQ is up this much, then the e and you see it's near highs. Now, a lot of people are thinking that this could go to highs, 4,200. So the way I'm going to play it tomorrow is this way. When you have the NASDAQ stocks, the Apples, the Microsoft going crazy, and you have a good GDP report that should help the economically sensitive, it's real curious when Caterpillar has pretty good earnings and it gets destroyed. So tomorrow, I'm going to play the economically sensitive on the upside and probably the NASDAQ stocks on the downside. But before I get opinionated, I want to show you something really interesting. You see this. That's a reversal wick. So that doesn't mean you have to buy there. One of my favorite patterns, I was on the free room today when I showed it, is a W pattern. So on the left, I'm going to put a 15-minute chart. Or a five, either, either. And there's your W right here, sort of quasi W. The point isn't how perfect it looks. It's that if it breaks above it, then the directions change. So I use this ATR trailing stop a lot, that line here. And that doesn't mean you have to buy on the break. You buy on the consolidation. And that's what I was in live at 1130 in the free room. And so I mentioned I bought Caterpillar here and guess what? I didn't get out till here. So did I get out perfect? No. Now another thing, and this is a great training thing for you. When I use this ATR trailing stop and I'm gonna take off every other study except the ATR trailing stop. Now I use just a 2.9 simple. You can use exponential. I experiment all the time, but for now, I'm using the simple. There's your ATR trailing stop. So the first time after a protracted up move that it breaks under it, it usually results in an oversold condition. And a lot of times after that, when it gets back over it, it resumes its uptrend, like you see. So just because it breaks, it does not mean to short. It means to look for reversal patterns on the upside again. And that goes with this. I know I talk about this a lot and I want to show you. So when it broke here and created an oversold condition with the MACD on the bottom, 
like I said, that doesn't mean you have to go down. The key is how it works off that oversold. If it's under here and it works it off by forming a bear flag, well, that's all different. So if this got back to overbought and this is a bear flag, yeah, that's bearish, but that's not what happened. That's why a lot of times we trade them like algorithms. We'll short, we'll get out here, we'll buy here, but maybe not there. You buy on the bull flag. So sure, you missed the first point. In this kind of violent market, you can miss the first point. You care about direction, not to pick the absolute top or bottom. So if you do it like an algorithm, you get out here, you get back in here, and then you get up by the end of the day. That's usually the way we do this. So what are we going to do the next few days? Well, what I want to do is look for the stocks that on a daily chart had a massive reversal. Now, I'm going to take out the drawing set on big volume. Now, there are a lot of stocks that have big uh, reversals today because the entire market reversed, and but they had it on light volume. So I want to take the ones on big volume. Now, keep in mind that Caterpillar had earnings, but I think volume is volume. So let's go through it so you know what I'm talking about. I don't care about volume overall. I've watched more people lose their shirts by saying, oh, it's going up on low volume. It doesn't mean anything. Well, it means something if you're short, that's for sure. I only look at reversal candles and if there was volume accompanying in that. So let's go in and I'll show you volume. So here's volume. As you see with Caterpillar. Yeah, that's big volume. Can't even fit it on a chart. If you want a reversal candle, you got to see a reversal candle on big volume. Either way, here you had a gap down, huge volume. And that put the kibosh on that rally from here for a long time. So how about Deer? That came back like a champ today. Look at that volume. Stock closed near its high, gigantic volume. So definitely, definitely that matters. You might say, well, there's big volume here and the stock just fell apart. Didn't have a reversal candle. I'm looking for this kind of reversal wick. So, and that's what you got today. So just, you know, keep that in mind. So how about some of the others in the economically sensitive? How about Cummings Engine? I don't like that it was on low volume. I'd rather mess with the Caterpillars and the Deer. So how about some other ones? How about Rockwell Automation? Well, that had earnings. It got destroyed on the opening. Go check out on the right. Wow. But it came all the way back. So it's been down, 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 and now it reversed on huge volume. So I'm going to go for the economically sensitive that reversed today from support on big volume because the GDP report should make these type of stocks go up. So I hope you like the video. If uh, we have a free trial on the Chart Patterns Mastery, 30 days for $7 should take us up on it. A lot of people have. Have a great night. Talk to you later. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher, and I'm Senior Managing Director of Stocks at Sippler Trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon so you never miss any of our great new content coming out. Good trading, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.